Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. Patch 24.4, patch notes are here, patch is coming tomorrow. This is the big mercenaries moment. So, what are we going to get in the big mercenaries moment? Mercenaries general updates. Cthulhu can now be earned through all normal methods. Alright, if you missed the Cthulhu event, now is your chance to finally get Cthulhu. New keyword, charge. Characters with charge immediately attack a chosen target when summoned. This is like rush, except that rush characters attack a random enemy character, while charge lets you choose. So more control in things that are summoned and immediately attacking. And this change is retroactive in that several of the old mercenaries have been updated to use the charge mechanic. Spawn of Nesot now uses charge, Zarzira's Wave Trasher, Cthulhu's Tentacles, Warmaster Vaughn's Evasive Worm, yeah that's a pretty big charger right there, King Crush's Devil Sore and Old Murkai's Gigafin all now have charge. We're also getting a major quality of life improvement in the fixed a bug where players were sometimes unable to edit their party on mobile. Yes, you can actually build Mercenaries parties on mobile phones again. Hooray! And we're also getting some bounties. It looks like the Japanese rumors were correct. 14 mercenaries were revealed today. And yes, we're getting exactly those 14 mercenaries. And we're also getting 19 bounties. One new zone. The Dark Moon Troop to mercenaries in a brand new zone, spanning 11 new bounties. We're also adding 5 new bounties to Felwood zone. And 3 more new bounties to Blackrock Mountain zone. Blackrock Mountain has so many bounties already, and three more there, okay, that's pretty interesting. And five new bounties to Felwood. That really makes me think, like, are these going to be level 30 bounties? Do you have to go through those bounties in order to get to Winter Spring? How does it all work? It doesn't say, but... Alright, 19 bounties are coming. We're also getting the 14 mercenaries that were revealed by the community. I already made videos about those earlier today, but there are a couple of clarifications from these patch notes. First of all, for Godcar, clarifications for Archmage Godcar transformed form actually does change Godcar's abilities, which wasn't mentioned in the reveal. Prismatic Bolt, deal 16 damage, gain plus 1 Fire, Frost and Arcane damage. Then Archmage Nova cast all of Godcar's upgraded abilities. And Triune Supremacy, discover one of Katkar's upgraded abilities. So I'm assuming that these upgraded abilities are the upgraded Heartfire, upgraded Blizzard, and upgraded Arcane Surge. So that AoE with Root and stuff all happening with the Archmage Nova. Also a tiny bit of clarification to Medivh, because we didn't get to see Raven Familiar stats, but Raven Familiar is a beast. It's a 1020 beast with that plus 10 spell resistance. And finally, a small clarification to Gen Greymane, because Gen Greymane, in his Wogen form, is going to be a fighter. Human Gen is a protector, and Wogen Gen is a fighter, which might be significant in some cases. And well, that was it. It wasn't quite as big of a big moment than I had hoped for. 14 mercenaries, 19 bounties, charge mechanic, and you can actually build mercenaries bounties on mobile, which is kind of great. But nothing else in this patch, so not a lot of feature updates in this one. Of course, Blizzard has already announced that in 24.6, so in roughly one month, we are going to get the coin exchange feature. But overall, I have to consider this patch a bit of a disappointment. We didn't even get a new time-limited event or anything, so yeah, we'll see. Well, the new mercenaries seem pretty complicated, so there's probably going to be a lot of things to figure out with those, and we'll see whether the bounties are fun. We're going to start figuring that out tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members, and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.